Hello, and welcome to Algebra. Today we're going to continue on 7.4, what happens when we have uh, division, when we have quotients, uh, rational numbers, and we have these uh, different exponents that are involved. So first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> basically when you have like bases and a quotient, you're just going to subtract your exponent, or you can rip. Um, we're going to see what happens when someone has some interesting ways to cook a turkey. I don't think they do it quite right. Let's take a look. That's what I call some hot basting. That's that's one hot turkey. Okay, let's put her back in. Okay, I think we're cooking. We're cooking, boys. Okay, so don't try that at home. Uh, they drop it vertically and it just rips into flame. Okay, so we're going to rip it uh, with these vertical exponents. All right, <clears throat> so in example 1b on page 440, we have an example where we have these like bases that are vertical. What we're going to do, there's two different versions. One, you can just write it out. So we have two m's on the, in the numerator and five m's in the denominator, <clears throat> four n's in the numerator, three n's in the denominator. Basically, you think about that turkey. When they drop that turkey, man, it, it, it ripped. You just rip each one of these. So drop that turkey down and it rips. So you divide it and it goes to one. All right, so you divide those. Those go to one. <clears throat> you don't have any more vertical there. In other words, there's just three m's left on the bottom. Now, you do need to look at these n's. So n divided by n is 1, n divided by n is 1, n divided by n is 1. We're left with 1n on top. And what you start to realize is, look, <clears throat> there's two m's on the top in the numerator. There's five m's on the bottom in the denominator. There's three more m's on the bottom in the denominator than there are in the top. When you look at the n's, there's one more n in the numerator than in the denominator. So you have four here, three there, there's one more in the top, so you just put one in the top. And so you can you can write it out, but it's a little cumbersome, it uh, takes a little while. Uh, this one is very quick and very effective, and you just, you just sort of work it out. So n divided by m to the third. So in this one, we're going to do the same thing, we're just going to rip it. Um, we have the same like bases in the numerator as we have in the denominator, so we're going to let them rip. Remember that turkey just kind of ripped into flame. Uh, and so we have six m's in the top in the numerator, two m's in the denominator. There's four more m's in the numerator than the denominator, so we're going to have four m's in the numerator. Remember, because each set will divide out, and, and in fact, you have what two sets that will divide out. So m to the fourth, because there's four more m's in the numerator. There are <clears throat> four more n's in the denominator, four more of them, and then ten-fifths. Well, ten-fifths <clears throat> would reduce. Uh, five goes into both of them. Five goes into ten, or ten divided by five is two. Five divided by five is one, so we can say two in the top, one in the bottom. And so two m to the fourth and this is just n to the fourth. So that's what's going to happen. Drop that turkey down. It just <clears throat> it completely catches on fire. Uh, we're going to rip those. So you know it, it just gets destroyed in that column of flame there. And uh, so you know, they divide to one. So that's what happens when you have uh, these properties. Uh, have a good day.